ladies and gentlemen, get your notebooks and pen and piece of paper out and get ready to take some notes on the information that I'm about to bestow upon you. As always, we try to bring straightforward, true and correct information to you because the greatest disservice to the people of the world is to bring forward information that is not correct. So, today, I'm going to read from you a series of uh, information that has been given to me that I do believe to be factual in nature and through my great amount of uh, due diligence, um, I believe this to be true. GSA Form 24 is the bid bond. Everyone should have a copy of the bid bond. The performance bond is SF25. The payment bond is SF25A and put out to, by the General Service Administrator Administration, which is abbreviated as GSA. The GSA is under the comptroller of the currency, make that note, which is under the GAO, the General Accounting Office. You have two sets of bonds, SF274, SF275, and SF-275A. At the federal level, you have SF-273, 274, and SF-275. Also, be sure to ask for the signed, certified verification of assessment and name of the registered public accounting firm and name of auditor who assessed the charges, credentials, oath, name, and contact information. Go to the list of securities. Why would they have a list of securities in the federal district court? When you click on the hyperlink, http full colon forward slash forward slash www.fms.treas.gov or www.fms period, T-R-E-A-S dot gov. It takes you to, uh, this is Department of Treasury. Then you will see on the form, or on from Walter Burney, B-U-R-I-E-N, who has uh, researched and spoken out about the, the CAFR which is the Combined Annual Financial Report or Comprehensive Annual Financial Report of Cities and Counties. The hidden set of books, optional bids, it's all spelled out. The insurance companies are the weak link. They have the true liability. They also, by SEC and fiduciary law, must disclose in their annual financial report any lien, encumbrance, claim, or judgment given the giving the dollar amount liability and a short description, clear and comprehensive of the liability, uh, Sarbanes-Oxley Act, S-A-R-B-A-N-E-S-O-X-L-E-Y Act, the Sarbanes-Oxley Act. They also are holding trillions of dollars of real investment assets, real estate, and property, of which are subject to patent attachment by claim. So what Ken Dost has been talking about is what's being illustrated here, along with a number of great other poignant points. They truly are the weakest link, and he's talking about the insurance companies. Believe it or not, George Bush signed into law Sarbanes-Oxley Act it is an amendment to the 1934 Securities Exchange Act. He has given you an out. Go read it. Sarbanes-Oxley Act of 2002, H.R. 3763, 107th Congress, 
second session, amendment to the 1934 Securities Exchange Act. On, on July 30th, 2002, President Bush signed into, the, into law the Sarbanes-Oxley Act of 2002, which he characterized as the most far-reaching reforms of American business practices since the time of Franklin D. Roosevelt. The act mandated a number of reforms to enhance corporate responsibility, enhance uh, financial disclosure, and combat corporate and accounting fraud, and created the Public Company Accounting Oversight Board, also known as the PCAOB, to oversee the activities of the auditing profession. The full text of the act is available at hyperlink http forward slash excuse me http full colon forward slash forward slash www.sec.gov forward slash c g i hyphen b i n forward slash goodbye period c g i question mark or www.law.uc.edu forward slash c c l forward slash s o ACT forward slash SOACT period PDF HTTP full colon forward slash forward slash www.law.uc.edu forward slash CCL forward slash capital S capital O AC lowercase ACT forward slash SOACT period PDF the SEC does not control or maintain this site. You can find links to a uh, commission rulemaking and report issued under the Sarbanes-Oxley Act, Washington Office, 1666 K Street, NW, Washington, D.C., 20006-2802. Phone number. 202-207-9100. Fax number 202-862-8430. Section 105 of the Sarbanes-Oxley Act of 2002 grants the PCAOB Board Investigative and Disciplinary Authority over registered public accounting firms and persons associated with such firms. The implement this, to implement this authority, Section 105A directs the Board to establish by rule fair procedures for the investigation and discipline of registered public accounting firms and associated persons of such firms. As directed by the Act, the Board adopted rules relating to investigations and adjudications on September 29, 2003. The Securities and Exchange Commission approved the rules on May 14, 2004, adopting release PCAOB 2003-015, Investigation and Adjudication. Under the adopted rules, the Board and its staff may conduct investigations concerning any act or practices or omission to act by registered public accounting firm and persons associated with such firms, or both, that may violate any provisions of the Act. The rule of the Board, the provisions of the securities laws relating to the uh, preparation and issuance of audit reports, and the obligation and liabilities of accounts with respect thereto, including the rule of the commission issued under the Act, or professional standards, the board's rules require a registered public accounting firm and their associated person to co cooperate with board investigations, including producing documents and providing testimony. The rules also permit the board to seek information from other persons, including clients of registered firms. When violations are detected, the board will provide an opportunity for hearing and in appropriate cases impose sanctions designed to deter a possible reoccurrence and to enhance the quality of reliability of future audits. The sanctions may be as serve as revoking a firm, firm's registration or barring a person from. Asking your discovery for the name. 
and contact information of the audit whom has assessed the charges as you must have this information for your report to the PCAOB undertaking. Put together your discovery disclosure, demand for bill of particulars letter of undertaking, etc. For whatever it might be to whomever the pirate minion may be, be as elaborate as you may see necessary with the discovery. Do not forget your negative avertment. One has seen nothing that resembles anything that would establish a verified valid claim nor has one seen any evidence of a pre-existing contract. This would be the application your mother filed or filled out for your birth certificate and is uh, voidable as it arises from presumption also, or any additional information in the public record that would indicate any obligation or liability one may have regarding this matter. Heads up, Lewis. When you get your docs notarized, use a foreign consulate notary. Make it international. Get a copy of the logbook and the evidence file. Have your docs sent by notary seal. Now, this is a very important point to understand. When you are looking for a claim on which relief can be granted, that is to say, where, it, where is it written in stone? When I... When a law is passed through legislation, it is not valid until it is verified by the archives in the Federal Register, lodged, a.k.a. lodged. The notary is the uh, archivist, and this is where he gets the power to supersede the court and the judge. When this log is entered into evidence, however, uh, evidence, how many times have you had something notarized and did not get the most important piece of paper for your process to succeed? The copy of the notary, notary's log. This is your verified witness replacing the presumption with facts. This is the why, as the Miro Virginian so eloquently states in the matrix <clears throat> this is what gives it power a claim upon which relief can be granted morpheus we are looking for the key maker this is also the why they have been labeling material as paper terrorism you have not actually done anything except for threaten them terrorism this is the same thing they are doing doing saying, I have a witness, but they are not here, or this is what this statute says, laugh out loud. Remember hearsay. Do not ever cross the judge. He is not the adversary. The minion pirate is. You would not approve of punching the referee in a boxing match, would you? It is not his fault you have been getting your ass kicked. Get certified mail with insured $55 for the notary. In order to, uh, for post office to retain records also, more evidence, the U.S. Postal Service is part of the UPU, Universal Postal Union, and Bernie, Switzerland. And your disclaimer, of course, one rescinds any and all prior endorsements, declines any and all offers to contract, and reserves the rights to reject any and all bids and does not concede to any presumption. One is not the beneficiary of any compelled benefit arising out of any contract or agreement with the U U.S., United States, USA, State of Washington, D.C., etc., errors and omissions. One is not accountable for the errors and omissions of the offer and offerers, partners, known and unknown. One is lacking the essential basic elements to formulate a valid assessment. From such a disadvantage, based upon this truth, a presumption arising from duplicity must be viewed as voidable for lack of the essential basic elements, something that you must comprehend. 
when someone comes to equity with unclean hands. Something that you must comprehend when someone comes to equity with unclean hands. It is like pouring two glasses of water in a bowl. There is no way to distinguish the difference between the two glasses of water. The pirate with unclean hands no longer holds equity. All their equity now belongs to you. You could get a private investigator to search on your adversary a adversary's assets, put a claim against all of it, and put this with your evidence and counterclaim, hence the age of Aquarius. If you want to use their own exploitation methods against them and put them into total ruin for those with vengeance in their hearts and minds, here you go. I wouldn't advise that, though. You should never come at anything with vengeance. The cru uh, crucifixion. Send out your notarized uh, discovery response timely under notary seal. Certified and insured. And insure it for over 50 dollars or 50 notes that creates a record in the swiss owned postal service u.s post office now set up a website post all documentation evidence mailing receipt on the site main page not a link now get a newspaper ad in let's say oh maybe the new york times the capital of their world as private notice to whomever the little uh pi pirate parasite are whom are causing the heartache, or any whom present may come and be seen or known example. One's appellation, private notice, to whom presents may come and be seen or known. Hyperlink, http full colon forward slash forward slash www.thecrucifixion.com. You could post an ad in a local city wherever they are, uh, corporate headquarters are, and also mention their name and or name of the CEO. Post a copy of your newspaper ad on the website also. Receipts, anything else uh, pertinent. The bigger than the newspaper ad, the more e expense. It just needs to be simple and, po and pointed. Also, you could send a copy of your news ad to right from their website. The FASB's Technical uh, Inquiry Service, the FASB mission is to establish and improve standards of financial accounting and report, reporting for the guidance and education of the public, including companies that issue. Now, get a newspaper ad in, let's say, the New York Times. Oh, I've already read that. Da -da 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 okay, also, you could send a copy to the uh, of your newspaper ad right from their website, the FASB's Technical Inquiry Service. The FASB's mission is to establish and improve standards of financial accounting and reporting for the guidance and education of the public, including companies that issue financial statements, their auditors, and readers of those financial statements. In line with that mission, the FASB staff provides the technical in uh, inquiry service to answer questions about existing FASB uh, literature. We welcome hearing from you because your questions may help us identify ways we can make our accounting standards easier to use and understand. The mission of the Financial Accounting Standards Board is to establish and improve standards of financial accounting and reporting for the uh, guidance and education of the public. You could post an ad in the local city where their corporate headquarters are and also mention their name and or name of the CEO. Post a copy of your newspaper ad on the website also. Receipts, receipts, else, receipts anything else pertinent. The bigger the newspaper ad, the more expensive. It, it just needs to be simple and pointed. Ah, we've already been through that. Okay. You can post your local city, corporate headquarters, mention the CEO. Da -da 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 -da. Recoupment. Dulles versus Truman, 2000 to 2003. D-U-H-L-O-S. Tried to take 
a barge down the canal, which was not deep enough, and wound up in, on a sandbar. When he tried to do a quiet title under abandoned property, the judge said that he had to uh, post a bond if he wanted to pursue the matter. Escrow account. The bond replaces you. You have to be a lien holder or claimant to bring a claim in admiralty. See Con Contrea case. C-A-T-R-O-N-A case. You can do it by judgment or execution. Dulles versus Truman. D-U-H-L-O-S versus Truman, 2000-2003. Tried to take a barge. Da, 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 da. Okay. In uh, 1975 through 1980, Corpus Juris Secundum, in the footnotes, it states that the recogn uh, recognance bond used by all of the courts comes from the Old English Admiralty. Stipulations and Bonds, Sections 156 through 160, 2003 revision deleted this information. A letter of undertaking or a uh, stipulation is the same thing as a bond. What you are doing is bringing chosen action against yourself as the res in an in rem proceeding in admiralty. Now, not if, but when they default, immediately file a countersuit in federal court. File your material in an evidence file, not the case file. One has heard of something about a miscellaneous file that has some uh, further impact. This must be further researched as one has no real knowledge of it. Subject, public policy, court versus constitutional court. Here in Austin, Texas, there is a U.S. District Court for the Western District of Texas. This court has a public policy side and an indivisible constitutional side. The discovery was made a couple months ago by my friend Mike, but the lawsuit that he filed on the constitutional side of the court was dismissed. I'm sorry, these are, these are notes, guys, so bear with me. U.S. District Court is in this land. We strongly feel that is where our remedy is for all our violations of our rights. I will be taking my mortgage fight to this constitutional court within days and let, let them criminals squirm, specifically the green file. It probably gets heard by the Supreme Court Justice who s sits in the district periodically. When you get into court and you address, recite the disclaimer written above and tell the judge, I am here, I am just here to collect, then say in response to any statement they make, what relevance does that have at this time on this matter, your honor, when they are in default? Is the court prepared to make a determination on this matter at this time? In your best Urkel voice, laugh out loud, this is your pat cliche for anything they might have to say in regards to the matter, laugh out loud. They, they have just been burned to the ground, commercially dead, crucified. They cannot win. Like one said, they've got nothing. When you get into the court and you are addressed, recite the disclaimer written about, oh man, these notes suck. They suck, they suck, they suck. All right. Example of FOIA. Freedom of Information Act request for investigation, counterclaim for forfeiture of bond. One is requesting that you submit all requested documentation in the nature of the assigned name and identifying number as shown below pertaining to the period of October 23rd, 2003 through present. The bonding information and registration statement and name of the transfer agent, QSIP number, and ass assessment OMID, OMAD, 1099 OID, 1099 INT for any and all charges. In regards to John L. Liberty and originating case number, whatever the case number may be, um, Agency number, credit item number, 
uh, Lakewood uh, Municipality Court, whatever municipality court it is, and authentication of authority, oath of office and bonding information of credit items, signatory Miller. So what he's asking for here is the GSA form 24 bid bond, the performance bond for from uh, form SF 24, 25 and 25A under the comptroller of the currency under the GO, uh, GAO, the general accounting office, the signs, uh, certified verification of assessment and name of registered public accounting firm and the name auditor who acts, uh, assess the charges, credentials, oath, name and contract information or contact information under the control or the currency under the GAO the general office accounting five sign certified verification of assessment and name of registered public accounting firm and name of auditor who assess the charges credentials oath and name and contact information okay you have two sets of bonds da -da 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 -da. The uh, SF-274, SF-275, and SF-275A, and the federal level, uh, you have SF-273, SF-274, and SF-275. Please provide the state 28-E agreements between the state and the federal government to secure grants from the Fed and to ensure compliance with federal law by the state and the yearly co compliance statement to the Fed, showing, among others, that, that the state is in compliance with the federal law and exactly where and how one is party to these agreements. Seven, as the Washington Bar Association is an instrumentality of Washington being external to the government, how does Washington Bar Association have any standing in any other three branches of government? Please clarify. Eight, please clarify exactly where, the, where in the Washington State Security Act, RCW 21.2, 20, the credit item signatory, uh, Miller Darian, um, MP parent, city attorney, complaint WSBA 387, or excuse me, 30,087 are eligible to engage in securing a bond in the name in resemblance to one's uh, ordinate appellation Johnny Liberty without one's knowledge or authorization and exactly where it is provided that the prosecuting attorney may act as an investment advisor representative and withhold the information pertaining to the name of the holder and bonding agent transfer agent as well as all as well as the value and accounting of said bond as described in RCW 20.20, 20, excuse me, 21.20.005 definitions, and then attempt to hold one's allegedly accountable for such act while withholding one's property. In one fashion or another, one has received correspondence from one from or have otherwise had direct contact with each Lakewood Municipal Corporation officers or agents named above. Per Federal Corp Insurance Corp versus uh, Merhill E.T. All, 1947, 332 U.S. 380, full colon, 68 S period, C.T. period, 1, full colon, 92, L period, E.D. period, 10, comma, at 384. Whatever the form in which the government functions, anyone entering into an arraignment with the government takes the risk of having accurately as ascertained what that he who purports to act for the government stays within the bounds of his authority. The scope of this authority may be explicitly defined by Congress or be limited by delegated legislation properly exercised through the rulemaking power, and this is so even though, as here, the agent himself may have been unaware of the limitations upon his authority. See Arago, Utah Power and Light Co. versus United States, 243 U.S. 389, 409, United States versus Stewart, 311 U.S. 60, 
comma 70 and see generally the Floyd acceptance 7 wall 666. Therefore, anyone in need of verif verifying that said personal uh, named above are who they say they are and have authority they have exercised or attempting to exercise, please send the following items for 8. Signatory Miller Darian E. 9. Sean M.P. Parent City Attorney Complainant WSB 30087, the, the precise title of each officer, agent or employer, employee named above and uh, cite the section of the Act of Congress that created the office or offices they occupy. The constitutional oath of the office taken by each officer, agent, or employee named above as required by Article VI, Paragraph 3 of the Constitution of the United States, First Stat 23 and 5 U.S.C. Subsection 3331, a copy of property executed civil commissions of each officer, agent, or employee named above that verifies that he or, or is an officer or agent of the government of the United States as required by Article 2, Subsection 3. And that is the end of the notes, ladies and gentlemen. I hope... Uh, Hope this information helps you out a little bit. I found it really interesting. Um, and with that, I'll let you guys go.